What is going on all of my fellow predecessor players and MOBA enjoyers alike? I have some massive news about predecessor. It just got a hundred times better. Now, I literally just got off a of stream right now, but I wanted to record this to tell you guys this information because this is huge. And about those streams, if you want to come through and check out the streams, I play Predecessor, I play Monster Hunter World, I play Fortnite, do a little bit of everything. I am a full-time variety content creator, so if any of those games interest you, then come through. We'd love to see you. I stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. And actually, as of the time that you're seeing this, I might be live. So come through. We'd love to see you. But that is not the topic of the video. The topic of the video, once again, is the massive news of Predecessor. Ometa Studios is doing something really cool. Ometa Studios is doing something that not even the original Epic's Paragon did. Not, not this. I'm not talking, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, like, like that, okay? Not, not that. Not, no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this, okay? I'm talking, I'm talking about this that right there that's what i'm talking about okay yeah uh the original epic games paragon was never on xbox you could play it on epic games the launcher you could play it on steam and you could play it on ps4 because at the time there was no ps5 well predecessor as of the time of recording this tomorrow but as of the time that you're seeing this yesterday released open beta now i know a lot of players have been wanting to play the game. I know a lot of people have been asking Xbox win, Xbox win, PlayStation win. Well, we finally got our answer. Listen, the game is completely free. You can finally play Predecessor for free. Not one week of the game being free on Epic Games or a beta that you get to try for a month. No, the game is an open beta and they don't know how long it's gonna last. So the game is just free right now indefinitely as long as the open beta is going on and you can play it on ps4 ps5 xbox series s and x and you can play it on steam and the epic game store so that is big news also it's cross play across all of those platforms that is some big freaking news pc players will be able to select the following languages in the settings menu so now the game will support french german spanish portuguese italian and simplified chinese and then of course console players will get the same localization options soon and we're looking forward to delivering even more languages throughout the year which uh, also is incredible to see and then they have something new called Quick Start Bundles. So the first one here is the Support Bundle. So you're going to unlock Richter, you're going to get FaZe, and you're going to get Narbash along with. Uh, that's a really cool spray. That is actually really freaking cool, the support icon. I like that. And so this, so let me full screen this here. So that is a big discount. 3,150 platinum, but it's gonna be 600 platinum, which I think rounds out to, I think you still gotta pay 10 bucks to get the platinum, but you'll have a little bit of platinum left over. So that is pretty nice. Then they have the carry bundle. This one is actually cheaper. This one is 2,750. And then with it, you unlock the carry spray, which actually does look really cool. I like that that one's red. And then you have Kira, you have Drongo and Twin Blast. And actually, that includes Alien Invader Drongo. I actually really liked this skin. This is one of my favorite skins. And then, of course, hold on. So we can't forget this. You get Shadow Links uh, for FaZe. You get Tribal Vibe for Narbash. And then you get Diesel for Richter. Wow. That actually, for 600 Platinum, that is pretty nice. Then for the Jungle, you unlock Rampage, Feng Mao, and you get Crunch and then you get this really nice jungle spray. Normally 2,750 platinum, but you could get it for 600, 78% off, and it comes with the first guardian skin for Fang Mao. Then for the mid lane, this one is 2,550. You get Moragesh, Howitzer, and the Fae. Then you get the mid lane spray, and you actually get the hard case skin for Howitzer. Also, again, for 600 Platinum. For the off lane, you get Greystone, Grux, and Shinbi, and then you unlock the White Tiger for Greystone, War Chief for Grux, and Dynasty for Shinbi, and then you get that really nice um, off lane spray 
Again, 600 platinum, normally 2,750. And then this is actually something I am really happy to see, additional skin refunds. Diesel Richter, you get 375 platinum uh, back. If you got the hard case howitzer, you get 750 back. Alien Invader, which again, that's one of my favorite skins, so I would be getting 750 back. And then the first Guardian Fang Mao, you get 750 back as well. So I am really happy that they are doing refunds. And actually, if you were to get any of these, you could literally go get one of those packs for, I mean, you could get the pack with the refund and then still have 150 left over. Now, these visual improvements also look pretty cool. I do like this. This is actually really nice. So the visual improvements, you can really tell now, like the shadows look a lot better. The shadows look a lot better. It looks a little bit darker as well in areas like the lighting has been turned down a little bit in certain areas. It looks like the contrast and the saturation definitely went up. Things that were orange kind of look a little bit more red now. Uh, things that were like, kind of like a tealish maybe now look more purple. So I do like that. You can really tell that's a fog wall right the grass is really green like this is this is nice this is nice to see i like i like this and then tons of characters got reworked changed uh got a little bit of a tweak if you guys want to read these patch notes and read every single little change that there was i will leave these exact patch notes in the description down below all right so i just logged into predecessor and i got 1850 platinum refunded to my account which is freaking awesome uh i don't remember all the skins that i bought in order to warrant that drongo invader drongo alien invader and i know i got raven quill revenant but i actually i don't remember past that so that is actually really cool though i i, I like that a lot so now we have 1900 platinum on my account so that's awesome thank you very much ometa all right so i'm gonna jump into a player versus ai match so that i can properly show all of this to you i'm gonna select the jungle so this is what it's gonna look like this is what's gonna what it's gonna look like when you actually get into the game you select your role and then you go from there so i'm going as the jungle i'm gonna go as chimera i'm gonna lock in my character like that so it goes one two two or one two one it, that kind of stuff right you can select your skin i'm gonna go moon viper and here we go the next big thing is the crest so what crest do you select what is a crest all of that kind of stuff i'm gonna show that to you right now so uh, the warrior crest is what is recommended for chimera but i can change that i can change that and i can do any of these i'm going to stick with the recommended crest though so i'm going to select that and then this is what it um this is what it grows into so this is what it'll upgrade into as you continue the match all right and as you can see each of these are different they all upgrade into something else right so again i'm gonna go warrior crest just like that and then i'm gonna get my ability here you start out at level one you can unlock one ability to start the game now here's what the item shop looks like and it is going to be laid out in different uh, categories so you have your physical power you got your attack speed magical power physical pen uh, physical penetration you got your magical penetration critical chance all of that kind of stuff right all of that laid out there now if you're wanting to look for very specific items that are of a specific element then you can just click on that and highlight it and now it'll show you every single uh, item it'll show you every single item that is physical power or if you want to look for attack speed every single item that is attack speed if you want to look for stuff that is max health it'll show you every item that has max health right now if you're looking for a very specific item you can type it in at the top okay so i'm going to look for uh bone saw all right so there we go i typed in bones and then you find bone seeker and then also bone saw so there you go you can type things in as well and that will help you find an exact item that you're looking for all right Right, so now at a minute 25 in the game as the jungler the red and the blue buff will spawn so it's three minutes into the game now right but a minute 25 as the jungler you can expect that the blue buff and the red buff are going to spawn your red buff is always going to be on your right side blue buff is always going to be on your left side no matter if you're on the dawn or the dusk side so also there's something new about some jungle camps big ones like this you can see that he has a health bar but he also has a little bar underneath that the cool thing is with that is this little bar will actually show you that you can make him leave his camp you can make him leave his camp so when that bar goes all the way down then 
he's gonna run back to his camp, right? But as long as that bar is not all the way down, he will actually follow you. So he'll leave his camp and he will follow you. But another really cool thing is you can see that little meter there, right? And what that means is I can hunt that. So at that meter, as it turns red, I can hunt that. So just like that, it's pretty nice. Now. Uh, the flowers. So these are the explosive flowers. You're going to see a bunch of these all over the map. And the really cool thing with this is when you hit it, you will actually bounce forward, you'll bounce up, you'll bounce backwards, depending on how you hit it. So you can use this for mobility, you can use this to try and get away from... Uh, you can try to use this to get away from somebody chasing you. You can try to use this to chase somebody if they're just barely getting away. So what you want to do is if you want to go forward, you hit it, and then you go into the front of it. If you want to go backwards, you hit it, and then you go backwards like that, right? You stand in the back. If you want to go to the side, you stand on the side. If you want to go up, you just go up, basically. But I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to go forward like that. And now I'm going to jump onto my five camp. And as you can see, that little indicator of being able to hunt a specific minion, you can see that on the big minion here. So right there, I can hunt the big minion, just like that. So now I'm back at the fountain, but I want to show you the crest. So as I said, your crest is going to upgrade as you play the game, right? So as you can see, my warrior crest says restores, uh, restore health 136 out of 200. So what I need to do to get this to the next level is I need to restore health by dealing damage or killing enemies, okay? Now, not every single crest is the exact same. They're a little bit different, right? Some of them want you to use abilities. It depends, right? But basically, you have to do a specific amount of damage, do a specific amount of abilities, something like that, and then, as you can see, the meter is slowly going up, and once it hits 200, it will evolve, it will upgrade into the next level, and then I'll get another meter, I fill that up, and then it will finally go to the last level, which then I will be able to pick my final upgrade that I have throughout the rest of the match. Now, another one of these flowers is right here by the Fang Tooth. so again, if you're needing to get away if somebody's trying to chase you from over here over here you're able to hit it from behind and then you're able to jump backwards if you need to jump to the side you can hit the side of it right however wherever you position yourself you hit it and then you position yourself wherever you need to go and then it will take you in that direction right i want to go into the fang tooth camp so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit it and then i'm going to jump and it's going to throw me over the wall. And as you can see, the enemy Grux is taking the Fang Tooth. I actually didn't even need to use my hunt because my team finished the Fang Tooth, but I could naturally use my hunt to do 500 true damage to it, um, basically securing the kill. Um, and then when you level up your hunt, which you will level it up by taking down 40 uh, jungle minions when you do 40 jungle minions when you're able to take out 40 of them then it will upgrade into the wild hunt allowing you to do a thousand true damage you can use this for jungle minions you can use this for objectives like the mini prime or the orb prime you can use it for fang tooth you can use it for primal fang tooth you can use it just for minions again as i was showing now another good use for these flowers is actually getting closer to an engagement so i'm going to do that right now so i can get just a little bit closer to this engagement here that's happening on the right side just like that now so i just hit level six and at level six you're going to get your ultimate okay so every character unlocks their ultimate at level six the way you know this is it's going to highlight blue in the middle right that is where your ultimate is always placed in the middle all right um, if you pull up your window on the side that shows you what they do, for me, this is control. It might be a different button if you're playing on controller, but for me, it is uh, it is the control button on my keyboard. So I can see that my R is called Cull, and then what I want to do is I want to unlock that. So I'm going to press R, and then there you go. Now I unlocked my ultimate. I see Grux is back at it with the second thing to spawn. So I'm just going to try to take him out before he's able to get it. And he actually doesn't have the max hunt. The way you can see that is it just says hunt right there. He's going to run away. Now, because I'm leaving, because I'm leaving the area, Fangtooth is going to replenish a lot of health, right? 
So now it replenished, I mean, 2,000 HP, but that's okay because Chimera and many other junglers can definitely take care of that, right? But now let me demonstrate what it means to actually use a hunt for an objective. So again, when you have your first hunt, you do 500 true damage. So when it gets to 500 or just below it, then you can use hunt and then you can secure the objective for your team. Now, right under my ward, the thing that says three, and then it says I have one left and it's gonna be up in 24 seconds. You can see that little box that's going around like that. That is my crest, okay? That is indicating that my crest has reached the maximum level and I can now upgrade it. So I'm gonna go back to the fountain and then I am greeted with this screen right here. So I can choose between three different upgrades. Typically, I go for Ice Scorn Talons, but again, you have three options with every crest, okay? When it comes to stats, they're gonna have relatively kind of the same stats. This one has 12 physical power, 5% lifesteal, and 100 health. This one gives me 10 physical power, 100 health, and 10 ability haste. This one gives me 15 physical power and 150 health. So they're pretty close, but they do different things. This one allows me to mark my location for four seconds. If I die in those four seconds, it allows me to um, resurrect. This one puts down a little dueling area. They're all gonna do different things. They're all gonna have somewhat the same stats, but you can pick which one you want. I'm gonna go for Ice Scorn Talons, and now I have that in my number two slot, at least on keyboard and mouse, that is what it's set to. My number two slot, it's gonna be different for controller, but I'm able to use that uh, now for the entire rest of the game and it has a cooldown after I use it So I'm gonna use it to demonstrate it. This is the ice sheet So I gain movement speed and my teammates as you can see Drongo's feet were glowing blue there So he gets movement speed as well for 15 seconds We do a little bit more damage while we're in here enemies that step on it. They get a yellow glow around their feet um, Indicating that they are slowed for the duration that they're standing on it, right? And now I can use this again in 21 seconds now, just like the Fangtooth, being able to jump over the wall with one of the explosive flowers, you can do the same thing here on the red buff side. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get over this wall. Maybe there's a fight breaking out. I need to be there really fast. I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna jump over the wall just like that. Now I can use this to get away or I can use this to actually engage if a fight is happening. Once you hit 40 jungle minions that you've taken out, you will upgrade your hunt to wild hunt. So when I press control, I can see on the left side that I have 36, I need to get to 40, right? So I'm gonna take out my four camp here on the left side and that's gonna get me up to 40, just like that. Now, when I do that, because sometimes the, the image kind of glitches out a little bit, it doesn't show immediately, right? But now you can see that I have wild hunt. Now, another really cool thing that every player has is called a blink. Every single player has a blink, right? Now, what a blink is, is essentially a short teleport, all right? It allows you to teleport a short distance, right? Like, let's, let's say that this flower is not up at the time, right? The flower is not up at the time, and I need to get over this wall, right? Well, again, the buttons are going to be a little bit different on controller or the default button on keyboard and mouse. I have it set to one of my mouse buttons, right? But you're going to see this pop up in front of you, and basically this is going to allow me to teleport. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm that, and it's going to allow me to teleport over the wall. You can use this to get away from engagements. You can use this to engage if an enemy player is getting away, and maybe they already used their blink, right? So there's tons of different uh, ways to use this, and it's great to have. And then it goes on a five-minute cooldown. So you got to be very sparing with it because you only get it once every five minutes and this thing can save your hide now since i haven't been able to find any enemy wards i don't think the ai places any but since i haven't been able to find any i'm just going to get the normal ward so i can show you what it looks like so basically what you want to do is you want to put this behind fog walls and basically if somebody is behind that fog wall it is going to show them to you it's going to reveal them to you right so what you want to do that's a fog wall right there put it behind it like that and within this cone here or, or dome i should say behind that if somebody is within that area you're going to be able to see them behind the fog wall right and an enemy ward is going to look exactly like that but it's going to be orange now also this is the upgraded version of fangtooth this is primal fangtooth 
So I'm gonna help our AI Countess here take down the primal thing too, and I'm gonna use my wild hunt to do a thousand damage to it, all right? So you can do this twice, but again, be sparing with that because then it goes on a pretty lengthy cooldown. So after a match is complete, you're gonna see victory or defeat on this screen, how much XP you gained. Then you're gonna see the players. All the players will be listed here if you're not playing an AI match like I am for the demonstration, but then you can also see your stats. It'll show you your KDA, it'll show you largest spree, largest multi-kill, the damage that you dealt, the gold that you earn, all of that kind of stuff. So all of your stats are there, and then you can see the same for the enemies also and your teammates. As you can see, I don't have access to Argus or Quang because I haven't unlocked them. They did have something called Hero Acquisition where basically you earned XP towards a character. You could select a character that you wanted to earn XP towards as you were playing matches and, and then along with the XP that you were gaining for your account level, you were gaining XP towards unlocking that character as well. I believe it was about 50,000 XP in order to unlock a character, but now they have something called Amber. So when you get out of a match, if you win or if you lose, you are going to get a little bit of Amber, okay? Amber looks like this. It's this little orange gem here. I have 16,081 Amber at the moment. Now, characters have different costs for Amber if you want to unlock them. If you don't already have them, you can unlock them with Amber, and then they all cost a little bit different. Now, if I wanted to unlock Argus, the newest character, that would be 8,600, and then Quang, the character that came just before Argus, would also be 8,600. But again, prices would range with that because, again, some characters are older than others, that kind of stuff. But again, this is a currency that you can earn entirely for free just by playing the game, you get Amber. And then you can add that up and then you can unlock characters that you don't already have. I actually thought the lowest price was $10, but actually you can spend $6 and you could get 600 platinum. So if you decide to do that, if you've never played the game before, you can put $6 into the game and then you can unlock one of those bundles that are 600 platinum, at least while they're on that sale. So there you go. I thought it was 10, but it's actually six. Now also, as of the time of recording this, this is what all of the items in the game look like. Every single item that is in the game right now is right here. So you can see every single item, you can click on them. It'll tell you what they do. It'll tell you the name. It'll give you the full breakdown of every single item. If you wanna click on them, you wanna check them out and kind of theory craft a build. So you can do that just like that. Also, this, will, again, we'll just show you every single one, but if you highlight this one for the carry, this will show you primarily items used on carries. Also, along with the crest and then or the mid lane, if you wanna see the mid lane items, if you wanna see support items, if you wanna see kind of more off lane items or just tankier items, that'll be this icon right here. If you wanna see more bruisey kind of jungle items, that'll be right here. And then these are more assassin type kind of ranger items as well. So that is pretty much the basics of predecessor. Again, those patch notes are in the description down below if you want to check them out and read every single little thing that I didn't uh, discuss and cover in this video. But yeah, that's basically the basics. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. If you liked this video, drop a like on it. If you enjoyed and you'd like to see more predecessor or other content that I create, hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the battlefield tomorrow, but yesterday as the time you're seeing this. Thanks for watching.